How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to test out this Jellico mini Bluetooth keyboard for you. You might wonder why you would need a little keyboard like this. Sometimes you might want to connect to a tablet so that you can type a little bit faster or you can connect it to a media center PC where you really need a wireless keyboard and also something a bit handy and not very bulky so that you can sit on your couch and type whatever that you need into the PC so that you can watch media or whatnot. The little touchpad here is just big enough so that you can move your cursor a little bit into the file folder as if you're controlling a PC. So I have a Media Center PC myself and this does come in handy rather than you going to your laptop and use a mouse or something. This allows you to control your PC from the couch. So I'm gonna go back to the unopened box and unbox this for you real quick. And then I'm gonna go back and test it out with my laptop and give you a little bit of opinion of what I think of this product. So here's the box. The side, it says the ideal made for your tablet device or your media PC, of course. It is made in China with various regulatory seal of approvals. Works with Android, Windows, iOS. Move this. The keyboard itself. There's a micro USB cable here. This is about two foot long. And the owner's manual. So let me turn on this device by switching it on. The Bluetooth LED turns on. Now I have Bluetooth turned on on this computer and push this Bluetooth button to start the pairing. The Bluetooth keyboard, it's just named Bluetooth keyboard. I'm gonna go and pair it. It's connecting. About you know, 10 seconds or so before it's connected. I'm gonna start a new note over here. So it seems like I gotta push this button, hold it down. I can drag it around. The length of this touchpad isn't too far, so I can't go across all the whole screen. I gotta go a little bit at a time like this. So I'm gonna type in hello. The first thing I notice here is that the H is on the left side. If you normally touch type, you're gonna want to press the H with your right hand. So I normally feel like I should go and reach over here and push H, E, L, L, O, comma, Enter, shift, T, this space is a test of the shift jelly key board. So you can see typing is not all that quick, but if you're in a pinch, this is much quicker than using a touchscreen keyboard. I am able to adjust to pressing these keys. If I'm staring at this thing, I go, oh, okay, why? I, instead of using my right hand to cross this touchpad, I could just push it here instead. Beat the bush. So not bad. I wonder what win key does on this one. Search function F4. If I do function F4, if I do F4 on the MacBook's F4, it goes there. But when I push F4 on here, it does not do the same thing. So I think this is an interesting keyboard. If you need a keyboard for a media PC, this will do it in a pinch. It's not the most ergonomic, I think, mainly for typing speed because um, this row of keys is on this side rather on this side. Mainly if you count the number of keys here, there's seven uh, columns and then there's six. So I guess they just figure, oh, okay, let's just split, put seven here and six here. I would have divided it right here instead. So thanks for watching this Jellico mini Bluetooth keyboard unboxing and review. If you're interested in one of these products, don't forget to check out the affiliate link down in the video description below. If you're interested in supporting this channel, I have an audible link down in the video description below. I have a Patreon over here and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.